Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the kingdom Monera. We are going to discuss about the various characteristics of this kingdom Monera which mostly comprise of bacteria. So this kingdom Monera which we are talking, we have already discussed in other lectures that this kingdom was formulated by R.H. Whittaker in his five kingdom classification. So these mostly consist of the kingdom of prokaryotes. Prokaryotes we know these are the organisms which do not have prominent nucleus that is they do not have true nucleus unlike eukaryotes which have got true nucleus. Now bacteria were discovered by the famous scientist Leeuwenhoek in the year 1676. Now let us talk about some of the general properties of the kingdom Monera that is general properties of bacteria. First they are unicellular that means these organisms are made up of single cells. Single cell made, makes the whole organism. So they are unicellular. They are composed of peptidoglycan. The cell wall of these organisms are composed of a molecule called peptidoglycan. Now they have got naked circular DNA. Now what do we mean by naked DNA? It means that it do not, it does not have got histone proteins associated with the DNA. Unlike in eukaryotes we will find that the DNA is always associated with proteins called histone proteins. So here the DNA is naked, they are circular and they are mostly found in folded form. Now these dense folded forms of the naked circular DNA which is found in bacteria is these areas are known as nucleoid. Now, these bacteria they do not have any membrane bound organelles like mitochondria, Golgi bodies, endoplasmic reticulum etc. Now bacteria they have got ribosomes that is these are the molecules which help in protein synthesis. They have got 70s type of ribosomes. Now they have different kinds or varied mode of nutrition. Now what are those? They can be photoautotrophic. Photoautotrophic means they can synthesize their own food with the help of light like that of plants. They can be saprotrophic that means they are dependent on dead organic matter for their nutrition. They can also be parasitic. Parasitic means they are either present inside the body of a host organism or from outside they extract the nutrients from the host. And they can also be chemoautotrophic which means that they do not use light but they can make their food by the help of various chemicals. Now they have got whip like structures which are known as flagella and these flagella are formed of or made up of a protein which is known as flagellin. So in this video we have talked about the general properties of the kingdom Monera that is the general properties of bacteria. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.